Hi guys, Sandy Ingram here. Welcome. We have news on Iraqi oil and the OPEC situation. Plus, we have a quick report from Vietnam and Zimbabwe. Our investment tip today is well worth your research effort. May I remind you, when you purchase foreign currency in the links in the description or invest in the equity share investments, risk is always a possibility. Oil has gone up to over $100 a barrel since Russia attacked the Ukraine. For Iraq, this is good news. The bad news is Iraq has two oil fields that are not in production due to maintenance. Maintenance was scheduled for Saturday when protesters blocked the maintenance crew from reaching or entering the oil field. The second oil field, or really the first one, has been under maintenance since February 21st and is expected to be back up and running by March 14th. The plan was that both oil fields would be able to increase the number of barrels of oil each day and make up for the lost time. The protesters were not a part of the plan. The outages come as many OPEC members, including Iraq, struggle to reach their production quotas, causing global energy markets to tighten as demand recovers from the COVID-19 pandemic. The article provides details and the link is in the description. Moving over to Vietnam for a quick, quick moment. Vietnam is dealing with major traffic jams with a population of 96 million people. Here we learn five new expressways to take shape in southern Vietnam. Now, Vietnam's unemployment rate is around 3.7% out of close to 100 million people. Zimbabwe, finance minister requested mining companies to pay up to half of their royalties in local currencies. Now, these measures reflect the government's commitment to promote the use of the Zimbabwe dollar. The Zimbabwe dollar has weakened by 6.8% this year. 3rd, 2009, the first block on the Bitcoin blockchain was mined and it changed the world. In 2021, blockchain technology not only powers the cryptocurrency market, but it is also transforming our global supply chains, as well as the financial, entertainment, and healthcare industries, just to name a few. According to PwC, blockchain has the potential to boost the global economy by $1.76 trillion by the year 2030. The problem that we're trying to solve at Blockchain Institute of Technology is that while the use of blockchain is growing exponentially, there's a mass shortage of blockchain trained talent in the workforce. A recent global blockchain survey by Deloitte showed that 53% of executives see blockchain as a top five strategic opportunity. But at the same time, they list a lack of in-house blockchain technology capabilities as a top 10 challenge. This can have a major negative impact on businesses worldwide. 